There's no game plan when you start to write a novel. You start in the dark and you uh, make your way forward and you hope that it comes together. But the environment has to be nurturing as well. For decades, writers have been paid for school use of their works. Now, the new legislation threatens to add the huge category of education to the list of exceptions for free copying of materials. No one else is being asked to subsidize education in this way. Principals get paid for their work. Teachers and janitors get paid for their work. Computer companies are not being forced to provide machines free of cost. School boards will still have to pay for paper, but the words on the page belong to writers. It's intellectual property. When teachers agree not to be paid for their work, then I will consider giving my work away for free too. Why would writers and publishers bother developing Canadian materials for schools anymore if significant portions may be copied for free? All over the world, rights holders have set up collective societies that license print materials. Through access copyright and copyback, educational institutions and other groups have been able to copy materials for reasonable fees. For over 20 years now, Canada's new copyright bill is an attack on collective licensing. It's ripping up part of the infrastructure. Tearing out strong roots that, that nurture and support writing and publishing in this country. The education exception is so vaguely written, it's so ill-conceived, it's going to send us all to court for years and years to figure out what's fair for schools or universities to copy. That's money not going into future books. New novels, new poems, new biographies and memoirs. The history of Canada, not written. Without strong copyright protections, professional writing in this country will be irreparably harmed. It takes years to build a writer, generations to build a writing and publishing industry and yet it can be torn down so quickly. It's not too late to change the copyright bill. We have a great culture and a great literature. Let's keep growing them for the future.